months, I'm editor and publisher of Washington Gardener magazine. We're all about local gardening in DC, Maryland, Virginia. And today I'm going to talk about planting tomatoes. So it's late spring, early summer. That's the perfect time. The soil has warmed up enough for our tomatoes to go in the ground. And I've selected two different ones today. This one is Tiny Tim. And this one is chocolate sprinkles with a little bit darker foliage. And I'm at here at my community garden plot. And what I like to do first is turn the tomatoes over to check the roots to make sure they're loose. They're a little bit tight here around the top, so I'm just going to gently tease them apart. And next we're going to dig a hole. So with tomatoes, you can plant deep, meaning we're going to go deeper than the soil is in the pot. So I'm going to go probably at least four to six inches deeper than the soil line at the pot. And I'll press that in there. Then backfill the soil. And you can go pretty high up a tomato stem as long as you have six inches of foliage above, semi foliage above. And when I plant at the same time as I put the plant tag in, so I remember what type of tomato it is. I put a plant stake in. So a couple inches behind the plants, the stake goes in at the same time. That way, if I come back later and plant the stake, I'm not jabbing and injuring the root zone. So same thing with this chocolate sprinkles tomato. I'm gonna inspect the roots, which look pretty good. Loosen them up a little bit. We take off some of the lower foliage or anything that has any disease or damage on it. And then I can dig a hole. If you can't go deeper because you might have a shallow container or a raised bed and can only go down a few inches, you can actually plant your tomatoes on their side. So here I'm planting chocolate sprinkles on its side and bearing about half the stem. So all of those roots are below ground now, putting the tag back in and then adding the plant stake so I can tether it to it later as it grows up. So those are a few tomato planting tips. I hope those help you out and great growing.